The war against LGBTQ seems inevitable from the GOP after Trump South Florida Mar-a-Lago raid. We can't have someone in the Oval Office who doesn't understand the meaning of the word confidential or classified. In my administration, I'm going to enforce all laws concerning the protection of classified information. That was from 2016. The LGBTQ plus community has become the favorite target of conservatives. We are the villains to their heroes. Personalities like DeSantis and, of course, Donald Trump. Last night on Fox News, a guest commentator went on a rampage after Mar-a-Lago was raided, saying how this investigation was entirely Democrats trying to distract from other issues. We at Queer News Tonight would like to point out that the leader of the FBI and the person in charge of the raid was Trump appointed Christopher Wray. An investigation of this type cannot be done without a warrant. The judge who issued the warrant for the search was Trump appointed Judge Bruce Reinhardt of the United States District Court for the Southern District of Florida. Ron DeSantis called this a weaponization of federal agencies against the regime's political opponents. The party of law and order is set to completely discount the country's legal system in order to galvanize voters against the Democrats, setting it up as a religious battle between good and evil instead of the justice system investigating alleged illegal activity. This is likely to increase the divide between the rational and irrational voters in this country, and as irrationality and lawlessness are supported by Republican leaders, we can be assured that the attacks on the LGBTQ plus community will become more heated and more violent. So my aunt texted me late last night and she said, we have a lot of questions. I mean, we, we see how poorly it's going for this administration. Is this just a distraction? Are they trying to distract us from the horrific e economy? Are they trying to distract us from the, the loss of wages and the loss of jobs and the recovery that was thwarted by uh, his trillion dollar rescue plan right out of the gate? I mean, th just we have to ask these questions because all of the stuff that they've ever accused Trump of so far, they have not provided any kind of substance to back up these claims. And I'm, I'm tired of hearing about Mo Russia, and I'm tired of hearing about Comey is coming. Comey never came. He left. And guess what? All of this stuff with Russia looks more to implicate the Bidens than it ever did Trump. I'm so tired of this tantrum from this party. Yeah, so my aunt texted me late last night and said, Happy Mar-a-Lago Invasion Day. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, I tell you, if you looked in his toilet last night, you would not find pieces of paper, but bricks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, it's true though that LGBTQ plus people are under attack not only in Florida, but in states across the country from every level of government. And that's why the National LGBTQ Task Force Action Fund is going to be on the ground here in Florida and other states, specifically focusing on school board elections and state legislatures. Mm. It's so important. I know as a a professor at a certain universe, uh, institution, uh, we've received a very threatening email in our inbox about a, a, a survey, mm -hmm. which is part of HB 233, which is meant to chill uh, any kind of free speech. And that's what its intention right. was. Now, critics have since said, oh no, it's completely voluntary. And um, But is it? And even if it isn't being participated in, people don't participate in it, it still says, watch what you say in your classroom. Be careful what you talk about. At Broward College? Yeah, yeah, well, I think it went to every institution. It was yeah. part of a... Uh... And so I quickly ran to my committee, my, my graduate committee, and they were just up in arms about it. And they, you know, because, I mean, you can't have a true survey if your name's on it. That's not a legitimate survey because it has, has an identifier. But its goal is really to chill the free speech and to sort, I mean, in, in theory, it's supposed to allow for a diversity. I think it's called Intellectual Freedom and Diversity Survey. Mm. Um, Which it seems like neither of those things are true. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, so. that, was, that, was, that was essentially the, 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 gist, the gist of it. But the, the, the thing about this that I love is that these are Trump's people enforcing the law on Trump. 
uh, mm -hmm. this is what uh, this is what this is all about. It's really tricky how those laws work. Yeah, you know <laughs> you that know. they come to back to bite you. Um, and the commentary about distraction from a party that is the gaslighting. Yes, 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 they are. You know, the textbook as we have described them many, many, many times over and over of gaslighting. Um, this is the true definition. You know, it's interesting that you point this out about um, Christopher Ray. Uh, Trump appointed uh, authorized this. Um, the federal judge that authorized this in secret uh, because they considered that the risk of destruction of evidence was so great that it was going to be an unannounced raid. That's why they didn't ask him to bring it in or will negotiate time because the federal judge decided, wait, there's reasonable risk here, appointed by Donald Trump. Those are two facts that cannot be set aside. No matter how much distraction, no matter how much gaslighting, they cannot be set aside. The other thing that I think is interesting in what happened uh, last night is uh, it's the same kind of thing of what Fox News and DeSantis and Lindsey Graham and others tried to sell last night, which is this is an absolute uh, uber left attack on democracy. They make the exact same argument that Bannon did at CPAC over the weekend, mm -hmm. which is any intelligent person knows absolutely uh, that Joe Biden is an illegitimate president of the United States and did not win. But interesting, the ones that we've learned from the January 6th hearings that indicated that that was not true was the vice president and the chief of staff and the uh, White House uh, senior counsel and White House staff and the majority of the cabinet all said, no, that's not true, which is exactly what Ray did uh, in this authorization in the federal judge. And the attorney did. general, William and, Barr. And, 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 right, and the attorney general, <laughs> part of the, the cabinet. So their lie is catching up with them. Now the question is, how loudly can Fox News scream it from uh, the rafters? Interesting, that piece that we just did. I said, oh, we for sure got to get this in because this was at seven o'clock. He broke the news live uh, at about 7.12 last night. One of the interviews in this piece that we did, we went in to get this piece because we wanted to get it. One of the talking squirrels at Fox, I'm very familiar with all of the talking squirrels because Tucker Carlson's my best friend. <laughs> and Tucker and I are just like this. Mm -hmm. um, he came on and said, this is bullshit, live on Fox News and started pounding his fist on the table, saying as a dog whistle, this is why everyone must go out and register to vote. We are going to wash them all away. And he's starting to speak this way live in Fox. Hmm. And I thought, holy mother of God, we've crossed a line that I've frankly never seen. We went in this morning to try to get it, and what did Fox do? They washed it they away. Took it out. They uh, took it they away. Get, get that piece is cleverly edited to take that whole section out. My whole point to this thing is, let's show the receipts. If this is a witch hunt, show the receipts. His lawyers have a copy of the search warrant. Release it. Yeah. Let us see what they were looking for. Yeah. Um, one last thought. Uh, this is really, really good news. Not because of the internet exploding last night of all of the radical left, or the radical right set all, both of those sides aside, all of the middle of the road, this is really, really good news. And the reason this is good news is they argue it's an attack on democracy. Uh, the left says it's, it's the defense of democracy. E whether either one of those observations are true, what is really good here is in the chance that took place at the Republican convention, lock her up, yeah. lock her up. What if alleged that they were searching for is true, it is dramatically worse than why Hillary Clinton should have been locked up. And that means, even if they don't, even if they don't, it means if he's convicted on this, it's like the Al Capone charge. We can't get him for murder, yeah. we're gonna get him for tax evasion. And that's what got Al Capone. Won't it be interesting that we get Donald Trump, meaning America, gets Donald Trump for taking classified documents because the only value to America and the LGBTQ community is they can't run for federal office ever again. Victory, touchdown. Exactly. That's why they're screaming bloody murder because they know that risk is at hand now.
LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.